Hello guys and welcome to this jet engine turbo fan tutorial where I'm gonna show you how to make a turbo fan like here like you see here it's in a shell but I'm gonna show you a non-shelled version that actually that has no smoke coming out and sounds exactly like a real jet engine you guys will see later so here is what it looks like in the uh, building editor uh, with the hard shell case and I'm gonna show you guys right now how to build a uh, a thing like this <clears throat> so let's just uh, build like a platform for it to uh, stand on so uh, it's basically a jet engine except uh, there is like no uh, thrust um, thrust at the back so there's no jet spoiler and no afterburner uh, so we're gonna start with all the basic jet components. So we're gonna need a jet compressor, jet ch combustion chamber, a uh, turbine medium, which is uh, medium, please, medium, and a small jet intake. So to build a jet engine, you need to first place the compressor right here. Then you need to place the combustion chamber. Make sure you follow the arrows and they are going right there. Then you will need to place a turbine. So I'm gonna place one here. Let me uh, replace the jet engine to make sure the fuel port is at the top. Then we're gonna add this um, intake here. And this is basic a basic jet engine, but to make it a turbo fan, we need a fan. Duh. So uh, what I recommend is a small ducted fan. Um, in case you need a bigger one, you can use a large one. Uh, in case you have a really big aircraft or plane. Um, so the arrows have to be facing like this um, in order. So this is the back of the engine. So the arrows have to be facing this way. So the plus arrow um, here and the minus arrow there so and then we also have to place one of these in the front so we also have to place one in the front um, and uh, let's just uh, place it right here uh, the arrows should be facing this way and the the top of it should have the power received uh, power receiver All right, so let's get my uh, let's get ourselves some pipes and uh, start doing this. So we will need a pipe, a pipe T piece, and a pipe angle for this particular build. So uh, pipe T piece uh, goes right here uh, to the power, and then we just uh, connect the pipes like so. We connect to the the pipes here to the here right here to the power received so this will be basically when we turn on the jet engine the power that is received will go to these two areas so um, so yeah but this is a particularly large jet engine so it um, it is this is only suitable for most big builds for small builds with small engines not recommended because um, it is quite long uh, to build. All right, so I connected the power to here and here. And uh, the only thing left is to put the fuel. So let me just get the fuel. Not this, it's a tank, fluid tank. Uh, let me just place it here and connect it with pipes right here. So right there, I just connected it with pipes. Make make sure to remember that the the compressor is always at the start of the engine. So you want to be facing with the compressor forward. Okay, now it's just time to uh, get the three things: a battery, a throttle lever, and a push button. Throttle lever and a push button. So 
So here it is, and then we need to place the battery for electricity. Then we connect the battery. And then here is how we organize it. So this, this button has to go to the compressor. Uh, for it's it says a startup so you don't need to have it on constantly so uh, how it works is you press it for about five seconds um, and then you should hear like a roar from the jet engine and then you can turn it off so throttle value goes to the throttle that's pretty simple and that is it so now this version is actually without the case so this is how it looks like without the case and let's test it out. All right. So I just changed the tank. Make sure it is jet fuel. So how you do that is by going here and uh, changing this to jet fuel, because that's a big mistake that uh, someone can make. But if you have a custom tank, also do the same with your uh, fluid spawner. Okay. So this push button activates the compressor. Now it, the jet engine won't work without any throttle. So let's put it to 50%. And I'm gonna let you hear the noise when it uh, after these start spinning. Okay, so it's just like a normal jet engine, but listen, listen. Oh, <laughs> it's going. So as you can see, it actually sounds like a real jet engine, and it puts out a, a, a lot of power. So yeah, that is that is my quick guide on the... That's going insane. That is my quick guide on the turbo fan in uh, Stormwork, because sometimes turbo jets aren't better. This is a better option for you guys. Alright. Goodbye, everyone.